Hello, creative adventurers. Welcome to the Man Andre live stream drawing uh, Morbius Part Three live stream Man Andre thing that we're drawing Morbius Part Three streaming. I'm good at this. I'm so good at this. Welcome. If you're watching this, if you're not watching this, welcome too. Um, this is where we left off last time for part one and two of Morbius. Uh, Fan Art Friday's drawing live stream Morbius, part three Morbius. <laughs> you can uh, find part one and two in the description below. Or maybe I'll link them up there. I don't, I don't know how this works. So we're drawing vampires. Uh, he has a cigarette here. He probably doesn't need that. That was from last time. Also a bottle of Jack. Maybe he needs that. We'll see. Um, but just so you don't have to look at my ugly mug the whole time. Let's just go to uh, the old trusty tablet screen. Wink. Okay. Here we are. I'm just listening to a little bit of a smooth jazz today. Drawing some vampires. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, still not a big fan of all this uh, leg action down here. So we'll see if we're going to fix that up. But, um, you know what? I kind of want to just get this. Uh, oh, got all kinds of things backing up on me here. Just a second. There we go. I bet you all the music's probably doubling on you. It's not fair. It's not fair to you guys. It's not nice. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better, hopefully. Okay. We're back. So I kind of want to maybe hope to get somewhere with this today, maybe try to finish it, you know what I mean, at least to a level of finish so that we can move on for May, we'll do some new uh, fan art, so I think I'm going to do what I say I usually shouldn't do, and I'm going to add a little bit of, little bit of color, we're going to start going in with some, some color under there, okay. Let's try this. La -da 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 -dee -dee -dee. If you, uh, if you're tuning it, and you, um, have any feedback, you know, I'd love to hear it. If you enjoy the music, right now this is just some non-copyrighted music, uh, some jazz mix. I'll actually mention it a little bit later on once I get a little further in this as to uh, who they are. But um, yeah, if you like, like the jazz or the lo-fi chill hop or... Uh, spooky music that was in part one or any of that let me know and if you don't also let me know because I uh, always want to improve so if there's something else you want to hear if I can tolerate it I'd love to play it <laughs> if I can legally play it as well and or if you uh, just prefer to have nice silent live streams where you can just draw along and play your own music let me know that too, because I understand that. I understand that. So sometimes, if you just want it to be quiet, just say in the comments, Matt, just stop it. Just stop it with the music. Just stop it with the talking. Okay. 
So we're just um, roughing in some really simple colors right now, just a really desaturated sort of dark bluish, um, just to sort of give it a local color sort of for his cloak. Obviously his sort of outfit, his cloak, a little bit more uh, in the black area, but we can save, we want to save a few darker tones for shadows and really pop out the contrast in certain areas. So we'll save the black, the darkest blacks a little bit later on and we'll just call this sort of his uh, local color for the the outfit that he's wearing. <clears throat> Pardon me. A little sip of water there. Water sounds. So because what we'll want to do is we'll put in just a nice base local color and the reason I could sort of fill this all in but I kind of like uh, hand drawing uh, it gives a little bit sort of some nicer textures and you can kind of clean up some stuff later on but this is just sort of the look I want for this piece so I'm just gonna uh, we're just we're experimenting you know we're just trying things out Let's see how it goes. But, um, so we'll put in the local colors and then later on we can pull out some highlights and some, some uh, shadows and things like that. Uh, let's see his hair, let's put his hair this color. This is just on a layer underneath our line art, so we're not affecting any of our line art right now. How are we all doing out there today? How are we feeling? If you're uh, an artist, which I'm going to guess good chance you are if you're watching this, hope you uh, hope you get a chance, or you make a chance, to make some time to create today. It's very important. And, um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing to do on a daily basis to get in touch with your creative side in touch with, especially if you're a creator like I am who has been an artist or someone who liked to draw when they were a kid, and maybe difficult sometimes when you're an adult or as you grow up, maybe if you're a little older or you have more things to do, if work or school work or things, it's a little harder to, uh, to find the time and we lose connection with that and I, I think that is very important to keep our connection with ourselves and the things that we love to do. So that's my uh, pair of pennies, as um, Moira Rose would put it. That's, that's that for you. That's a little nugget. <laughs> okay, Morbius. So Morbius has got this sort of grayish white skin. I don't think it's quite sort of what we would call white. I think it's a little bit of a gray. Or all so far this is looking all kind of the same, but we're gonna pull things out as we go. And we're gonna give it some more. Um, hue shifting, as you'll say, some, some color changes as we get closer to things like its mouth and the blood and all of that fun, fun stuff on a lovely Saturday afternoon. Friday. Friday afternoon. Fan Art Fridays. Do -do -do -do. Uh, 
Pardon me. They will just fill in this background with a little bit of something just to give it some little something. I don't know. but we want the warmth we want the background to have a little bit warmer tones to contrast with him because he's going to be there's going to be a lot of dark um, a lot of dark blues and uh, reds and things like that so I kind of want to contrast that with the complementary color of sort of orange and warmer tones so and he pops he pops out you know what I'm saying Yummy. Okay. Do 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 do. do. Oh yeah, just a little bit of smooth jazz and some vampires on a Friday afternoon. I'm probably pretty sure you can hear all that lovely buzzing going on outside. It decided to just start doing some some landscaping and some you know cleaning and construction and stuff outside just when you started to do a live stream so that's nice they know they know they know what the viewers want to hear is what the, maybe you can't hear it maybe it's just me and I'm just I'm just complaining I'm just complaining away at nobody nobody on the internet maybe you're here watching now maybe there will be somebody tuning in in the future. Gotta get the nip there. The nipple. Oh, yeah. Here, we put a little bit of red tones near the, <clears throat> excuse me, near where the skin uh, is thinnest. Like around the knuckles, things like that, where the skin starts to sort of stretch and gets thin, brings a little bit of Life. We don't want to bring too much life into him because, well, he is a living vampire, so we don't want to give him too much color, but definitely want him to feel a little bit alive and like there's some some fluids moving under his skin, whether they are living fluids or unliving fluids or whatever you want to call them. But okay. Okay. And we're drawing... Uh, just working on his little ribbon belt that he has. Just a little ribbon belt. do that to myself just you know make it diff a little more difficult later on I like to challenge myself you know <laughs> you think I'd learn you, know, you think you'd learn Matt but I know it should only go up to his um, sort 
mid forearm there, but I do what I want. Just a little bit of a redesign of Morbius. I'm not really following the movie uh, movie version. If anybody is looking for that, and I guess you are as well. not looking too bad. I think it's a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit messy, but we'll go in there. We'll go in there. We'll, uh, we'll noodle for a bit. Oh, auto save. Good call. skin here a little bit. This will still be in shadow anyway, but it should be a bit lighter. So now that we've got some base local colors in here, what I'm going to do is come in and now I'm going to put a little bit of shifting as I was saying so put a little bit of greens some stuff I really like to put kind of a little bit of every color personally I don't want to try and make my thing look too much like a, a big old bowl of Skittles but you want uh, no, I like to have a little bit of color uh, variation a little bit of rainbow trying to hit at least a little bit of everything gives a Gives it that sort of vibrancy, that pop to uh, to your pieces if you do. But again, to each his own. You do you. You do whatever makes you happy. It's your drawing. It's your world. You create your world however you want. Okay. <laughs> I'm detailing out this cigarette, but the cigarette's not supposed to be here, so. with it. I guess I can get rid of this bottle jack because this is supposed to be a heart being ripped out. I'm sure you could tell that if you were just turn, tuning in. <laughs> um, I'm not sure Morbius ever really rips out too many people's hearts, but forgive me if he has and he does and I didn't know that. I am not as versus Morbius as perhaps I should be to be drawing him. Maybe I'm not allowed to be drawing him if I don't know what I'm doing. So what we're going to do, I'm going to create a layer at the top here and we can change this layer to saturation and then we're going to fill it with solid black and that will give us an idea of what our values are looking like. So right now, basically everything is essentially one tone, more or less, except for a little bit of his face and his hands and things and this nipple area and some holes here. But for the most part, this all kind of blends in. So that's where we have to start pulling out some, some uh, tones and some highlights. 
and things like that. So what I might actually do thinking I might, which I probably should have done it in um, grayscale first, but I didn't. <laughs> okay. Still learning, you know, we're still learning just because I like to um, share what I've known, I think, uh, or what I come to learn and no doesn't mean I am where I'd like to be that's for sure I think that's a big thing for many if not most artists is that um, as much as from outside perspective it may look like you know what you're doing I think a lot of artists definitely um, strive to always improve and, and maybe they see the worst in their Art, or maybe not the worst, but definitely have a critical eye and see where they've come from and and actually maybe don't see where they've come from in that because it's been a slow um, a slow challenge and a slow sort of process to learn art. Sometimes we miss how far we've come because it isn't as obvious, sort of like looking in the mirror and realizing one day Oh, geez, you're almost 40 years old. <laughs> Not me. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so I think it's always good to strive to improve and to get better and to find those idols and those um, inspirations and keep, uh, keep growing. But that said, we can always learn and we can always grow. So I'm still experimenting. I'm still trying to figure out how all this is going to be, uh, all this is sort of going to come together. You know what I'm saying? another layer here so we can I'm picking out some of these details but I think I might go in and start painting over some of this pencil work now that we've got some uh, pretty good stuff established here I think some pretty dark colors now and start pulling some of this out. Actually, I'm going to go above the line art now. Oh, not with that, clearly. Let's just start a new one.
Choosing a brush, whoa, whoa, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, maybe I'll use this watercolory. No, let's go with square pickle. Let's try that guy out for a bit. Okay, we're gonna start zooming in a little bit, but I don't want to get too crazy here. I want to start still. Start still. Getting some. Uh, these values pulled out a bit more now. If you're checking out this video and you're enjoying it, or if, even if you're not, love it if you click the old like button there. It would really truly help me uh, move on up in the uh, algorithms. And I'm going to try to create much better videos as I go. I'm still learning, like we said. So we'll. Uh, Get better but please let me know if there's anything you think i can do to improve i'd love to hear it you know as long as you're not being uh being mean even if you are i prefer you don't but hopefully i can take it hello mike o'keefe How do you do? How's it going today? How are you feeling? Just uh, drawing some uvulas here. Let's get right in there. Let's get right in there. You are handsome, Mike. I think you already know that. I don't know why I need to tell you that, but you know. You know Mike O'Keefe is handsome, so the whole internet is aware if they aren't already, which I'm <laughs> certain they are. Everybody knows. Mike's also incredibly talented makes pretty mean stew and he looks good doing it thanks Mike Good, good afternoon, good morning to you. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a mess, but you know, it's coming along. It's coming along, things are happening. Good morning. Are you excited for your day, Mike? Mike and I kind of work together. We do shows and stuff. We eat eat stuff together we change clothes in the same room
I'm just drawing some uh, some blood and stuff here. Blood coming off this uh, Morbius lip. Just a happy little bloody lip on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> you're, even with your eye boogers, Mike, you're far too handsome to ever look like Morbius. But that's good to hear that you jumped in to check out this live stream before even wiping your eye boogers. That's actually quite quite the honor. It's quite flattering. It means a lot. It's a lot. I, 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 I'm emotional. Oh, I got you. I got you, bud. Stu shout out. You should check out mikesstews.org for more more uh, stew goodness from Mike O'Keefe. Some good stuff. Pumpkin stew, rabbit stew, orange stew. Not the fruit. It's just orange colored, but it's still really good. Like, really good. Got a hankering for some Michael Keefe orange stew soon. Maybe when we get to the next city. Morbius do crossover baby Oh that'd be freaking awesome. Had I, had I known we could have could have collaborated. We could have both done like a dual live stream. Is the stew undead? Or is it like made of blood? Or I don't understand. Just Morbius colored? And the little nipple piercing here, just in case. Just for anyone who likes pierced vampire nipples, which most people do. I don't think anything can, bad can come from eating bat. I'm almost certain it's completely safe and edible to just consume bat, raw bat. Bat sushi, it's a new thing actually. I've seen it at um, West Edmonton Mall in the food court. Every food court. I think they have like 16 food courts in West Edmonton Mall. There's no bat sushi. Well, there might be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. Oh, could could start could start something. Bat stew, bat sushi at West Ed. 
Could be a thing. Could be. With our combined skills, Mike, we would be unstoppable. Let's tap it. Let's tap that. I'd tap that. I'd tap that bat. Tap that bat market. I don't know what that means. That sounds weird. Still got this cigarette smoke happening here. Gotta cover this up. It's gonna get busted for smoking, ripping out hearts. Story of Mike's life. <laughs> oh. Hey, sorry about that, Mike. I need to call you out on the intermits. How's the smooth jazz, Mike? Is it is it treating you okay? Would you prefer no jazz? Would you prefer ska? Country? Silence? They deserve to know. The people deserve to know. They've waited long enough. They already knew you were a handsome devil, so. What's, what's more? What's a little bit more? It's a little bit more mic knowledge. They, everybody loves a little bit more. Mike in their life. Loving the Mike life. Oh, auto save. Thank goodness. Ooh, titillating. Some titillating. Matt Scat. Doo boo doo, skip it up, 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 boo boo. Doo boo doo. Mmm, ba ba doo 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 doo. Skip it up, 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 Do 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 do. Skip a boop, be 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 be. Oh, be 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 be. Jism jism. Skip a boop, 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 Ham! What's up? Fam? Ham fam? Sister? No. Daughter? Friend? <laughs> How's it going? How you feeling? Hopefully feeling all spiffy and ready to go for, for tonight. For good, good old tonight. Stuff, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh 
man, what is happening with this drawing? Do we even know what's going on here anymore? This is a mess. It's a mess, man. Cleaning up this hand here. This hand's gotta go. Amy Wright is another extremely uh, talented and handsome person that I know. She's pretty great. Not so great at making stews, but still pretty great nonetheless. She does make some mean mashed potatoes, though I will tell you that. A little bit of, a little bit of stolen butter, a little bit of. Just kidding, just kidding. We're allowed to have a butter. Yeah, scat it up, Mike. Ooh. And Padillo fettuccine sounds delicious. I've not eaten anything yet today. I should feast on something before expelling all of my energy. This is the legacy. You, you can't erase the legacy you've already created for yourself. I mean, you're far too, you're beyond beyond this you're a goddess among people I don't know you gotta say everything all politically correct Morbius man. Go draw the bits. Put some bits here. Doink, boom, swoot, clonk. Boo boo choo, badilla fettuccine. Ooh, badilla fettuccine. Fettuccine, badilla fettuccine. This is the legacy I, I wanna leave. I want to. I wanna leave. This is the legacy. Boo boo, bo bo. Boink, choo choo, scooby doo. I don't understand why I don't have 3.9 million subscribers yet. The nipple! <laughs> He's so mad about it. Ah! Damn you, JT! What's JT right? Are you guys making friends in the chat? Making friends in the chat.
Well, now those gums are way too light. Sheesh. Amy, still there? How did your paintings go? Did you have to do like 70 paintings in two days or something? 25 in less than a day? Did they ever turn out? Well, I'm sure they turned out. If you did them, did 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 you did you do? Did, did are you did you are you done? Did you do them? Amy. <laughs> I don't think he would kill anybody if he gave some tender, tender nipple loving. That's all people need. I think there would be a lot less crime in the world, to be honest, if everyone just had their nipples loved a little bit more. But you know, what do I? What do I know? Oh, oh, Amy, that's okay. That's okay. Dark gums. Well, now, maybe that's a little ridiculous. I don't know. Who knows? Is he wearing lipstick? Maybe. It's okay. It's okay. You can wear lipstick if he wants to. Maybe he doesn't even have lips. Maybe he just, just like, gross vampire skin goes right into his gums. Yeah, screw it. I like that. I do what I want. And he's got a bottom lip. That's okay, Amy. So, are you still working on them? Are you still doing them? Or have you been like, you're done. You're just like, I'm out. I'm giving up. For anyone who does know, Amy is a awesome artist as well. Does some phenomenal painting and incredible Photoshop work. I haven't seen a lot of your stuff, Amy, but still really like that little little sun. The little sun you got in your bathroom. It's cute. With the little face with the little with the little eyes, with the eyelashes. You know what I mean. Can me send 70 Morbius pictures for this lady? Serves her right. Serves her right for being in the wrong city that you're in. Not in. Well, that's too bad, but that's all right. There'll be more. There'll be more commissions. There'll be more work. There'll be lots. I think this blood's got to be almost black. out here. Auto save. Thank goodness. Oh, did we lose music? I think we did. We did. Maybe we'll put on a little bit of a little bit of chill hip hop. A little bit of chill hop. How's that? There we go. A little bit of hip hop on a Friday afternoon. Whoa, that's blurry, hey? Sucks. 
Come on. I give up. Is that better? No. A little bit. Who knows? Who knows? Where's the chat? Where's the chat at? This, uh, I guess I should mention that this current music is brought to you by uh, brought to you by Lo-Fi Girl on YouTube. There should be a link in the description below. And uh, the one we were just listening to a little earlier was uh, some no copyright calm jazz music slash background chill slash cafe music slash relaxing work study music by stream of melodies on YouTube. You can check them out. They're both fantastic. Both great. Thanks for the music. One day soon, I hope to create my own music. Until then, I do have some music, but not enough for two hours of live streaming. It wasn't Vaseline Mike I was cleaning my camera with. It was mayonnaise. Straight up mayo. I say screw Big Windex. I use mayo. Oh, we're on a chalk brush now. Okay. Oh, whatever. Sure. Let's just keep it on the chalk brush and see what happens. Don't care. Why? I do care. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'm going back. On my pencil brush. Thank you very much. What would you suggest, Mike? What would you suggest for cleaning my camera screen? I don't know. You're the one that's like the handsome live stream master what is happening I'm an eraser who switched oh, maybe his pants are ripped a bit there he's got some runs in his stockings poor Morbius ooh maybe one ooh right there like right ripping into his little cod piece saucy Time is it? Oh, we're good. Do we have a show soon? <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going to the show. I'm just going to draw. Okay. Do the show. See, what do I do without you, Mike? What would I do without this brilliant feedback and all your smarts? Not just a handsome hat rack that Mike. He is also smart AF.
I zoom out like this to sort of see the overall image. See? Pop off, Amy. Fair enough. I gotta pop off soon too because we're probably both in the same boat. But thank you so much, Amy, for stopping by. And uh, I will uh, I will tell you again when I'm doing this again and I'll see you in a couple hours. See you tonight and hopefully you're feeling better. Love ya. And uh, <laughs> I guess I could keep the live stream going as Johnny. It's Johnny Rose. Um, all right, this is Johnny Rose from Shit's Crike. We're here, we're gonna draw some some vampires, okay? Some little vampires here. Just his little bloody mouth. Actually, I guess I could just do that. Just draw it dinner break. Just as. Gotta get the spit a little bit too. Save. No, oh, I keep forgetting I have a lapel mic. Hopefully, I'm not scratching it all the time with my arm. Okay, we're just zooming in here, and we're painting a little nipple. That's what we like to do on a Friday afternoon. It's my Friday afternoon nipple painting session. A little bit of a highlight there. Give that nice shine. See, pops that nipple. Some highlights that blood there. <laughs> I have two passions in life my family and Dr. Michael Morbius and don't you put, don't you put me against, don't put them against each other, because, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I was going for, because <laughs> Michael Morbius would win, and I'd sacrifice my family for him, but I just screwed up the whole thing. This little goatee here. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Johnny's just got some, some issues. This little demon. He just, just wants to paint a little bit of bodily mutilation and vampires on a Friday afternoon. Is that too much to ask, people? Poor guy. He's gotta keep his keep his sanity somehow. 
He's actually kind of a little too close to home. A little too close to home there. Maybe his nose is kind of wet too, so we should have a bit of highlights there. Vampire freckles? Maybe? Looks like Morgan Freeman now. I'm Michael Morbius. I can't do Morgan Freeman, clearly. Michael Morbius escaped from Shawshank Prison. Off to work. You allowed to do that? I can't do that voice. You're not allowed to do that voice. for autosave, am I right? <laughs> now that's all I'm going to be thinking about tonight trying to tell jokes is how tortured Johnny is and how he just wants the demons to leave him alone and, oh, if he could only paint sometimes when I'm drawing I noticed that I noticed that on the other live streams <laughs> all of a sudden I'm all quiet and then like exasperated <sighs> breath okay well I guess this has to be ripped from something just missed his nipple though just missed it so his nipple is still Perfectly intact. Just a little scraping around the nips. Oh, 
Oh, I'll use it. I'll give the stakes so much, <laughs> make the stakes so much higher if I don't get the jokes right. I guess for anyone who's tuning in at a later date has no idea what the heck we're talking about. Mike and I and Amy, who was in the chat earlier, we're on a little show. We do a parody of uh, the television show Shit's Creek. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. Well, I did. <laughs> no, um, we're allowed to. It's a little parody. And uh, it's fun times. I play John Girls, obviously. Or a character based on Johnny Rose, I should say. Good stuff. And Mike plays a, a Roland. An extremely handsome Roland. human just a living nipple just one of his nipples just warm If you were to see Morbius, it's like infrared. Is that what's called? Oh, auto save. You're ruining my jokes, auto save. did it wrong. <laughs> I guess it would have been the other way around. what he looked like if you picked him up on just a heat sensitive camera just his one living nipple just so hot hot nipple Whew. maybe even hotter just right at the tip just super white like white hot burning ah, my nipple is so hot You kind of like that. Maybe I should just leave that. I think that's better. You can lower the opacity, give it some color. Oh yeah, not bad. And if we put it on a different, put it on color mode, see if that helps. Not too shabby. She uh, she kind of like that. Mike gives us a little life. <laughs> His nipple a little. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let's see.
Turning on and off layers a thousand times looking at nipples. Okay. Okay, I think we got got a few more minutes here. We got 15 or so. Then I think we need to get ready. And I'm going to have to pop off. As the cool kids say. By cool kids, I mean Amy Wright. Who is one of the coolest of them all. Almost as cool as me, but not as cool as Mike. <laughs> She's cooler than me. Amy Wright is way cooler than me. Check her out, and you'll soon see that. You can Google these people, I bet. I bet you could Google these people in the chat, and you'd be like, whoa, shit, they're awesome. Because they are. Chelsea. Wow. Sup, Chelsea? That guy's fine. He's fine. This this guy here, he's good. Ouch. Is that Chelsea? Chelsea? I know several Chelsea's, but I'm going to guess it's... Is it Chelsea R? Or is it Chelsea S? Or is it neither of those Chelsea's? He's fine. This guy's good. Like, he's doing okay. If... I swear, like, you put a little bit of polysporin in this area... And you put a couple of pieces of duct tape over that. He'll ride up over the weekend, I tell you. I wouldn't go in water, but he's fine. He's fine. Like, he's already feeling better. Yay! I'm so happy. Yay! Okay, so he's okay. We're good. Auto save. What's up, friend? Thanks. Thank you. I guess I should have gotten back to you on your last message. <laughs> I'm a terrible friend. But I think you already knew that. I will message you tonight. We're at work. How's it going, R? Chelsea R? So many amazing celebrities we've got on our chat today. We've got Chelsea R hitting up our chat. Quite, quite the talented lot. I don't know. I know he doesn't have those things in the actual comic, so I don't know what I'm doing with those. I don't know. All right, Morbius. I think we're getting we're getting close. We're getting close. Okay, I'm not the fastest at drawing and painting, okay, people? I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can. So now, this isn't lined up, see? that in there. This should go more that way.
you've been 10 seconds behind. How do you think I feel? I think I'm crazy behind. He uses the same thing I use, and it's Tresemme. Tresemme in the big black can with the blue with the five circles. If you'd like, I can put a link to the Tresemme that I buy in the description at the end of this video. <laughs> and you can click on that and you can purchase it directly from Amazon and that would help me out greatly with my Amazon affiliate program. <laughs> what he does actually is he gets up and he, well it helps sometimes, he doesn't wash it every day, Morbius, because uh, that sort of strips it of his natural oils and it gets a little bit flat if he washes it every day. So what he does is he'll get up in the morning um, <clears throat> preferably after a night of not washing it, it'll have a little bit of volume and then he'll usually sort of brush it out um, so that you can get out any of the, uh, you know, just sort of any of the uh, knots and sort of split end and bits like that. And then, um, then, well, I mean, he'll usually have a shower, but he wears a shower cap. And then when he's out of the shower, he uh, will apply a little bit of um, some volumizing pomade. And then what he does is he uh, gives a nice, a nice blow dry on hot. And um, a good trick is if you tip your head upside down there and you get a nice, get a nice blow dry and some, uh, then you add some hairspray while it's blow drying, you get some good volume going on. And uh, then the last technique is if you can, you can get some, um, some volumizing powder actually, and that can help boost your hair up a little bit. But the last technique that I like to use is to use a uh, little dessert fork dingle hopper. And, um, so not joking, I used to use it all the time as Elvis, and, um, it's one of the best hair products or hair utensils you can use, because you can just, like, pick out little pieces, and you're like, oh, this piece has got to go, like, oh, I want this to go over here like that, so you're like, oh, I'm going to get the dingle hopper and put that piece there like that, boop, and you're like, oh, this guy, this guy's got to go over here, but you don't want to mess with this, right, so you got to, like, get the dingle hopper like that, you pick this piece and you're like whoosh, you put it and you're like I want this piece here like that so that's how it's done dingle hoppers trust me and blow drying since you asked Mayo. Mayo is what I use to wash my camera lens, obviously, with how clear it is. But Mayo is actually, I think, is actually probably good for your hair, I think. I've heard you can, you can um, use some mayo and egg and stuff. Well, I guess mayo is eggs. Wow. Matt, okay, I've never seen a fork before, apparently, in my life, so you might want to look up a reference for what a fork looks like, but, <laughs> okay, well, and, and on this perspective, let's put the fork through this finger, just because that's how I freaking drew it, so there we go, okay. Dingle hopper. Ah, my hair. I ripped out all my hair. Ah! Okay. Looking good. This is becoming quite the masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Thanks to all the uh, wonderful suggestions. Of course. You're to care to the audience. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, people. To have some fun, to do some live streaming, do some drawings. Heck yeah. Should get Tresemme to sponsor me. I'm my own sponsor. If you're enjoying this, please like and subscribe. And uh, I guess I'll also take this time to thank all my lovely patrons on Patreon. 
who um, support me even though I haven't created anything in a really long time. I don't charge anybody on Patreon until I actually have some more content. So if you'd like to join Patreon, by all means, feel free. And uh, so thanks so much to Nico M, Shara F, Danielle A, K911, Datalik RPG, Karen H, Gerilyn H, Matthew D, Sherry K, 3P, and Jessica R for being so dang awesome all the time. And you're so dang awesome for tuning in today. Thank you to Chelsea and to Mike and to Amy and to anybody else if you're tuning in now or in the future, which is now if you're watching this. Weird how that works. I think I'm going to give this a few more little seconds here. And then I think we're going to we're going to call it. We're going to jet so that we can... Uh, Get ready for the show. So I guess we didn't quite finish it today, but I think we got we got some good work done. I got some good work done. Where did we come from? Let me I think it was somewhere around like this. Nope, not that. We've come from this to the next thing. And then I'll show you. But thanks for tuning in. I'm going to let you go. Oh, geez. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. And have a good meeting, Chelsea, if you haven't already left. And thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you at the show, Mike. And uh, maybe we'll see you for another live stream. Cheers. Cheers.